Welcome to a new video of Footify History. Who doesn't appreciate a good fried piece of chicken? Today, we're going to share the surprising truth about the world-famous fast food brand, KFC. The popular restaurant is known for its bone-in and boneless fried chicken pieces seasoned with Colonel Harlan Sanders' original recipe of 11 herbs and spices. Before we continue with the unexpected truth, let's go back to the beginning of the KFC restaurant. The History of KFC KFC, or Kentucky Fried Chicken, was founded by Colonel Harlan Sanders, an entrepreneur with a passion for cooking. Born in 1890, Sanders had a challenging upbringing, working a variety of jobs before he found his true calling in the kitchen. In 1930, Sanders opened a service station in Corbin, Kentucky, where he began serving fried chicken dishes to hungry travelers. The food became so popular that he expanded his operation, opening a restaurant called Sanders Court and Cafe. It was here that Sanders perfected his original recipe of 11 herbs and spices that would become the hallmark of KFC. Despite facing hardships during the Great Depression, Sanders' restaurant thrived. In 1952, he franchised his concept to Pete Harmon in Salt Lake City, Utah, and the first Kentucky Fried Chicken franchise was born. This marked the beginning of a new era for the brand, as it began expanding throughout the United States and eventually the rest of the world. KFC's success can be attributed to a combination of Sanders' unique cooking techniques, marketing prowess, and the growing popularity of fast food in post-World War II America. Sanders was known for his hands-on approach, visiting franchises to ensure quality and consistency, and he played a significant role in KFC's advertising campaigns. The menu started with fried chicken, mashed potatoes, gravy, and biscuits, and it has since expanded to offer a wide range of delicious options such as chicken sandwiches, wraps, and sides like coleslaw and mac and cheese. KFC has also adapted its menu to cater to local tastes in different countries, offering unique items like the chitza in Asia and the zinger in the United Kingdom. In 1964, Sanders sold the company to a group of investors led by John Y. Brown Jr. and Jack C. Massey for $2 million, but he remained the face of the brand and continued to play a role in its operations until his death in 1980. Today, KFC is a subsidiary of Yum! Brands, which also owns Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. As of our knowledge cutoff in 2021, KFC had over 24,000 franchises, Presence in more than 145 countries. Annual sales exceeding $26 billion. KFC's iconic brand and delicious fried chicken continue to be enjoyed by millions of people around the world, making it a true testament to the perseverance and vision of Colonel Harlan Sanders. Now that we've explored the history of KFC, let's dive into the 12 surprising facts you probably didn't know about this famous fast food chain. 12 surprising facts about KFC. Now let's dive into the 12 surprising facts you probably didn't know about KFC. Colonel Sanders isn't a real military colonel. He was given the honorary title by the governor of Kentucky in 1935 as a Kentucky colonel. This honor is awarded to individuals for their contributions to the community, state, or nation. The famous finger-licking good slogan was created by accident. A franchisee in the 1950s licked his fingers during a meeting and uttered the phrase, the catchy and informal slogan became an instant hit and was used by the company for over 50 years. The top secret blend of 11 herbs and spices is so guarded that KFC uses two different suppliers to make sure no single company knows the entire recipe. The two suppliers then blend their portions, creating the unique flavor KFC is famous for. KFC was the first Western fast food chain to open in China back in 1987. The first location opened in Beijing, and KFC has since become the largest fast food chain in the country, with over 7,000 locations as of 2021. In Japan, eating KFC has become a Christmas tradition, thanks to a successful marketing campaign in the 1970s called Kurasumasu Ni Wa Kentucky or Kentucky for Christmas. It's so popular that customers often need to place their orders weeks in advance to secure their meal. KFC introduced the Double Down Sandwich in 2010, which replaced the bread with two pieces of fried chicken. The sandwich is filled with bacon, cheese, and a special sauce, making it a delicious, albeit unconventional, choice. Colonel Sanders' iconic white suit was auctioned off in 2013 for over $21,000. 
The suit was bought by a KFC franchise owner from Kentucky who plans to display it in one of his restaurants as a tribute to the Colonel's legacy. The original recipe chicken is pressure fried, not deep fried, which is what makes it so tender and juicy. Pressure frying cooks the chicken at a lower temperature and for a shorter time than deep frying, locking in the moisture and flavor. KFC once had a Colonel Sanders themed hot air balloon, which was used for promotional events. The balloon, called the Colonel's Cruiser, featured a large image of the Colonel's face and his iconic white suit. There is a KFC location in Marietta, Georgia, that has a 56-foot tall, rotating, neon-lit big chicken structure. It was originally built in 1963 and has since become a local landmark, even serving as a reference point for pilots flying into the nearby airport. In 2019, KFC released a dating simulator game called I Love You, Colonel Sanders, a finger-licking good dating simulator. In the game, players take on the role of a culinary student trying to win the heart of a young and handsome Colonel Sanders. The KFC Twitter account follows only 11 people, six men named Herb and the five Spice Girls, a nod to their secret blend of 11 herbs and spices. This clever social media move garnered attention and praise for its creativity and humor. So there you have it, the expanded surprising facts about KFC that you probably didn't know. Thank you for watching Foodify History, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more amazing food stories.